Hello, I'm Tom Gustafson, Computer Information Systems Instructor at Lake Superior College in Duluth, Minnesota. Welcome to this series of videos on imaging a Windows 7 computer. If you're interested in more information about our online AAS degree in Network Administration, see www.lsc.edu. Let's begin by asking what is a computer is computer imaging. Computer imaging is creating a complete image of a Windows installation. This includes the operating system, drivers, applications, and settings on your system. It's created using the ImageX command line utility. This is part of the Windows Automated Installation Kit. It's a free Microsoft utility and it is command line so you have to know how to use command line utilities. To create an image, you need to boot not from the image that you're, the operating system that you're imaging, but from the Windows PE boot environment, booting from a CD, and then you can image the operating system on the hard disk. Both ImageX and Windows PE are part of the Windows Automated Installation Kit. A Windows image is stored in a .wim file, so a complete image of the operating system, applications, drivers, and settings on your computer are stored in one file called a, a, an image file or a .wim file, a Windows image file. Then you can use this image file to distribute Windows to multiple systems. Before you do that though, the image must be generalized before you distribute it out. This is because there are settings and information on a computer that need to be unique on every computer. For example, every computer has a SID, a security identifier, that has to be unique. If you have multiple computers on your network with the same SID, that's going to create problems. Same thing with things like computer names. They are supposed to be unique on every computer. If you're doing static IP addressing, the IP address should be unique on every computer. So generalizing the image means you remove those you, uh, specific uh, unique elements so that they can be regenerated when the computer starts up again. We'll need a couple resources for this unattended installation. One is the Windows 7 Enterprise Evaluation. It's available at no charge at Microsoft's TechNet website. You can find it at the link on your screen. If you go there, you'll see that it's a 90-day trial. That can be extended or rearmed. 30 days at a time, three times, so you can get up to 180 days of test driving Windows 7 Enterprise from this evaluation. And Enterprise is uh, one of the two editions of Windows 7 that includes every feature. So you can do the 32 or the 64-bit edition. I'll click on the 32. You will need to sign into Microsoft's website. If you have a Hotmail account, for example, you can just use that address. You can, if you don't have a Microsoft Live ID, you can sign up for one right there. The other utility we'll need is the Windows Automated Installation Kit, which is really a package of installation utilities, another free download from Microsoft. If you go to Microsoft.com slash downloads and just look for WAIK, which is the Windows Automated Installation Kit, you'll be able to find it. Let's give it a try here. We're at Microsoft.com slash downloads and if I search for WAIK, the first one that shows up is the Windows 7 Automated Installation Kit. Make sure you get the Windows 7 edition. There is a Vista uh, edition out there, which is smaller but not as current. Notice 1.7 gigabytes in size, so it's a large download, an ISO file, which is basically a DVD image. You can then take that tool and burn it to a DVD or use the ISO directly if you have software to mount it on a computer or if you're using a virtual machine. Here are the steps to image a computer. First of all, we need to install and prepare a Windows image. We need to do a Windows 7 installation, get a computer configured the way we want it, and then prepare it running a tool called SysPrep, which I'll show you in a moment. We're going to need to download the automated installation kit at the site that I just showed you. Then we're going to need to create a Windows PE boot disk in either an ISO file or on a CD. 
Then we can use the ImageX tool that comes with the automated installation kit to create a WIM image of the system. Then we need to worry about the destination computer, where we're going to put it. The destination computer needs to be partitioned and then we can distribute that image to those destination computers. The image itself can be stored on a network share, a USB drive, there are uh, multiple ways to do that. So the first step in imaging a computer is to install and prepare a Windows image. You can perform any installation you wish, an attended or an unattended installation. Uh, see my separate series of videos on unattended installation if you'd like to know how to do that. Then you can configure the system the way you want it. Any settings, uh, applications that you wish to configure, get that system looking the way you want it to look, and then you run this program right here called sysprep.exe and that generalizes the system. It's found in the system32 directory in the sysprep folder and I'll show it to you in a minute. We have a number of options here to generalize it. Uh, there's something called Ubi out of box experience and shutdown. We'll look at each of those options and we'll see how we can take that system, prepare it to be imaged. So let's jump over to our virtual machine and let's take a look at SysPrep. Okay, I've got a command prompt here and I'm already at the Windows System32 SysPrep directory. If you run SysPrep all by itself, if you run that command without any arguments, you get this little window the system preparation tool and it gives you a number of options. First of all, what do you want SysPrep to do? Uh, this is really saying what should this computer do when you reboot it? Should you enter the system out of box experience or the OOBE UBI? This is Windows Welcome. This is what a computer that you buy at the store, you pull it out of the box, turn it on, this is what the computer does. It asks you what language options you want, it asks you for a computer name, a username, things of that nature. When you uh, run SysPrep on this computer and reboot it, is that what you want to happen when the system reboots? The other option is to enter what's called system audit mode. Audit mode means you'll uh, start up this computer and you'll be able to configure it. You can install applications, drivers, configure the system as you wish. It won't uh, run Windows Welcome immediately until you reboot it again. So let's try the out of box experience as our option and then this box here you can choose if you want to generalize the computer. Generalize again means to remove those specific elements of the system that should be different on every computer and you normally want to do this if you plan on imaging this computer and distributing out it out to multiple computers remove that security identifier, the computer name, other things that should be unique on every computer. And then after SysPrep is done, what do you want to do? Do you want to just quit SysPrep, stay in the operating system? Do you want to reboot the operating system or do you want to shut it down? Okay, so you can choose these options from the graphical environment, but I'm not going to. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to show you how to run it from the command line. So I'm going to run sysprep and I'm going to say I want to go to the out of box experience after I reboot this computer and when sysprep is done I want to reboot the computer and yes I do want to generalize the computer before I reboot it. So here's what I'm saying sysprep generalize this computer remove those unique elements when you're done reboot and when the computer starts up again start the out of box experience the windows welcome process. So let's run it and sysprep is now doing its job. So it's going to go through and do quite a few things. Sysprep's very thorough about removing these unique elements on your system. I'm going to pause the video for a moment while the sysprep takes place. Okay, sysprep has run. The computer did reboot automatically. Um, I've got a couple of Windows 7 installations on this system. Um, I'm just choosing the first one, which is the one that I'm currently using. So the system did reboot 
as we asked it to, and it's starting up now. A couple things about SysPrep. When you do run it, SysPrep uh, has to be run as administrator, and you can only run one instance of it at a given time. Also, make sure if you're in Windows 7, you run the Windows 7 version of SysPrep. It comes on your operating system in the directory that I showed you. So make sure you run the one that matches your edition. And again, running SysPrep is an essential thing if you plan to image this computer and deliver it out, deploy it out to other systems. Okay, syst uh, the system is rebooting here. I'm going to pause the video again while the, the reboot happens. Okay, we're back. Windows has restarted. Because we specified UBI, out-of-box experience in the sysprep arguments, we are now being asked for our language choice. We'll just click Next. We're being asked for a name. We'll just use John like it says on the screen there. And we're asked for a password. And we'll click Next. We need to accept the license terms. We'll click Next. And um, how we want Windows Update to run, we'll just use the automatic settings. Uh, central time is the default here, and we'll just say we're at our home network for our computer's location. And we've gone through now the Windows welcome process for getting our computer configured for the very final steps. Now, realize that you can use an unattended answer file for this if you wish. There is a configuration pass called UBI, out of box experience, and if you specify that configuration, um, those configuration settings, you can automate these to happen automatically. However, on, a, on an individual computer, uh, many of these are like the computer name, for example, you want those to be unique. So uh, here we are, and we're up and running our final restart in Windows. Now, realize that if you plan to image this computer, probably what you're going to do is you're going to run sysprep and you're probably going to do out-of-box experience but you're probably going to tell it to shut down instead of to restart. I wanted to show you the out-of-box experience here but if you choose the shutdown option then the system shuts down and then you can reboot to Windows PE and image the computer and that's what we're going to do in our next video. There's our system up and running and um, what I'll do very quickly here is I will just run sysprep one more time the way that we really want to do it. Um, I'm just going to change directory here to the sysprep directory and I'm going to run sysprep and I'm going to say I want to run out of box experience the next time we do this but I want and sysprep is done doing its thing to shut down and I want to generalize this computer uh, again so that after this sysprep runs we shut the system down we have a generalized system with the unique elements removed and it's ready to be imaged and then when we push the image out to another computer it'll run the Windows welcome the out-of-box experience so I'll run this and sysprep will do its job and then shut down I will stop the video and we'll pick it up next time